Hey guys, I'm Frequent World Photography and today is new computer build day. So I've been working on this all afternoon and it's uh, going okay. I gotta curse Corsair's stupid power supplies. Cables are too short. But anyway, we're getting it done. I'm almost built and we can get on with our testing of the new Ryzen 8 core 16 thread for some video editing and see if it's any faster than the old machine. So I just wanted to show you guys the state of my living room. Um, this was not uh, an easy build. <laughs> this power supply, I do not recommend. The cables are so short on it, it made my life living hell. Um, the computer is running. We had some issues, but it is up and running, and uh, now I have to configure hard drives and all that stuff. We're halfway there, guys. Okay, guys, we've got the new system put together, and I just wanted to talk about it for a second so we understand what we're comparing. Um, in the last video, we compared the original um, setup that we had, and we only swapped out video cards. We went from an R9-290 uh, AMD card to a brand new GTX 1080. And we saw that in most instances, we actually lost render times, except when we put uh, video clips that had um, sharpening or effects on them, then the new video card gave us about a 7% increase in time in Movie Studio 14. Okay, so what we've got now, the new machine, is we've swapped out the board, the RAM, the CPU, and we are running a Ryzen 1700 uh, with 16 gigs of RAM still, and we've overclocked the new system to 3.85 uh, gigahertz. Uh, the last machine was running at 4.1, so we're actually 300 megahertz under where we were before. And the new RAM, even though it's DDR4, uh, these new boards do not have BIOS updates in them yet to run at full speed. So the RAM is only recognized as 2133 megahertz. So even though it's running dual channel, it's uh, probably very close to the same speeds that we had on the old board, which had 1600 RAM, which was optimized and everything else. So all things aside, we're looking at a faster um, CPU, which has eight cores now instead of four, 16 threads. And I've gone ahead and run all the benches, and there were pretty much uh, what we would expect for results we got, except in one instance, and I'll show you that right now. Just finishing up my render test for the night, and I just wanted to show you guys that uh, we we're almost at 50% in Pinnacle Studio with the new Ryzen 8 core. Uh, machine. We've uh, thrown some sharpening and a render effect on this video clip, same as before. And I'll show you here, we're just about to hit 50%. There, we're at 50%. Okay. And believe it or not, there's the time. 24.44 to get to 50%, which is even slower than the i7-2600 uh, took us. So I cannot explain that. All the other rendering tests which we'll go over show that obviously 8 cores uh, renders a lot faster than 4 cores, except in this useless program. I don't care what anyone says, uh, this program I do not understand why it takes so long. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's a one minute and 50 second clip. Who is going to sit here in their right mind and wait, you know, an hour for a two minute clip to render with a sharpening effect on it? Absolutely useless to anyone and ridiculous. So very quickly, just because this is a new movie, um, some of you might not have watched the last movie. This is what uh, the rendering uh, tests were done. Uh, movie Studio 14 and we rendered a 1 minute and 50 second video clip three clips put together actually um, they're all 60 frame uh, a second video recorded off my phone and we have 10 photographs recorded off of a Sony A99 24 megapixel camera at the end and we've rendered all our tests using this same uh, setup we did straight render tests and then we added effects to those movie clips and I have the times from the previous tests with the old system, as well as the new ones with the new Ryzen 8 core, and I'll show you those uh, increases right now. And they were substantial across the board, so good news for us.
So we're rendering these out as uh, Sony AVC uh, MP4 files and what we get uh, with the first test is um, an increase of 17% using the new machine. Originally it took us 3 minutes and 47 seconds uh, to render this uh, video clip out and now with the new uh, Ryzen chip in there it took 3 minutes and 8 seconds. So I'll put on the screen right here the conversion of each video in seconds and you'll see the difference. It's 17% increase, okay? Now when we add an effect to each of those first three movie clips, we get about the same result. Originally it took us four minutes and 55 seconds to render this out, and with the new uh, chip in there, four minute and one second. So that's an 18% increase. I also did some testing, which I didn't show in the last video, where I just took an old home movie that I had out of hundreds. I just grabbed one, it was about seven minutes long, an MP, uh, G file and I rendered it and originally with the old uh, i7 uh, 2600 overclocked um, we got 14 minutes and 8 seconds with the new Ryzen 8 core 11 minutes and 21 seconds so that's a 20 percent increase so if you just take an old uh, clip no effects and re-render it as an AVC file 20 percent increase and I also did uh, some new tests uh, XAVCS files, which is a new uh, Sony proprietary MP4 type of uh, codec. And with the old machine, to render this uh, movie clip here out, it took 1 minute and 92 uh, seconds, 3 minutes and 12 seconds. And with the new machine, 1 minute and 47 seconds. So an increase of 44%. That's what it took. From 3 minutes and 12 seconds with the old machine to 1 minute and 47 seconds with the new machine. So when you're using new codecs and new technology, um, the new Ryzen really kicks butt. We're talking 44%. That's uh, going to cut your render times almost in half. So in conclusion guys, uh, no surprises here except for Pinnacle Studio, um, but th that program, uh, I don't know what to say. It's almost like it's not uh, running all threads, all, all cores. There's no way that a 4-core system is going to beat an 8-core system for rendering. There's something wrong there. We're going to throw that testing right out the window along with the program. Uh, I know some of you guys say that my machine, that's an anomaly. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I've uh, changed all the hardware uh, in the system and it still runs like poop. So it is what it is, guys. For me, I'm just going to use it for uh, transferring trail cam videos into something that Sony, uh, sorry, Movie Studio, Magic's Movie Studio can render, and that's all I'm going to use that program for. The render times are just so slow. If you watch that clip that shows last night after, uh, you know, 1.30 in the morning, my frustration after sitting there for 20 minutes and seeing no increase, that about sums up how I feel about that program. But everything else, uh, what we really wanted to know was Movie Studio and, you know, anywhere from 17 to 44% increase, guys. If you got the cash and you got the time, get out there and get that new Ryzen chip and get it in your system because it, it really is a fantastic chip. Okay guys, as part of this uh, video rendering uh, speed testing, I had decided to download CyberLink PowerDirector 15, uh, the 64-bit version for Windows 10 and they're giving out a free trial, 30 day trial. So I've gone ahead and downloaded that, installed it, and let's uh, see what happens here. We uh, click on try now, we skip the registration, program will start up here in a second, and then it immediately crashes. <laughs> so that's where we got with that. Um, a few people were saying that it is a very quick rendering program. I'm not sure about the quality because we can't test it. Uh, 2017 and you're giving out trial versions of the program that can't even start. I'm not really interested in troubleshooting that. So moving on, let's get back to our original testing.